Some people at a Newark apartment complex say it is hard to sleep at night. They feel their safety is at risk. And they say it's all because of inadequate security, an issue that they've been fighting over for years. CBS 2's Corey James has a story you'll see only on two. You are looking at a 20 story apartment complex in Newark called the Colonnades. Chopper 2 flying over the 560 unit property, home to nearly 1,000 people like Daisy Johnson. The 83 year old did not want her face shown, but says her 45 years of living here took a turn for the worst in 2018. It's the year she tells us new property owner PF Holdings cut security staffing. That's when our nightmare started. A nightmare she and other neighbors say involved doors being left open, strangers sleeping in the building, and only one guard on duty to manage two separate entrances. Johnson remembering the day she says someone made it past the unmanned security desk on her side of the building and rang her doorbell <phone rings> pretending to be law enforcement. I answered yes. Uh, who is it? He's a policeman. It was nerve wracking. It's angry. Freedom Brimmer is a resident and the Apartments Association president. He too is outraged. If there's a fire on the 17th floor of the C building and Somebody slips and falls uh, in a puddle of water on the second floor of the D building. There's one person who's got to deal with both those things. One person. We reached out to PF Holdings to get its side of the story. Attorney Derek Reed said this is the third time the city of Newark has cited his client for alleged violation of its security guard ordinance. According to Reed, it was thrown out in 2018 and most recently last month where it was, quote, dismissed because defendant is in compliance with the ordinance, end quote. That ordinance states additional security is required for a complex with more than one building. But residents tell us while the colonnades looks like one structure, it has two separate entrances with separate addresses. And believes that is allowing PF Holdings to legally leave tenants with one guard. If that ordinance really had been changed and really worked, then where's the enforcement? There's nothing to stop PF Holdings from being, quote, overly compliant. But then, two, the city council, they're allowing this loophole to stay. A possible loophole leaving elderly residents like Miss Daisy. I don't want to fight for what I'm paying for. Wondering when their sense of security will be restored. In Newark, New Jersey, Corey James, CBS 2 News.